Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Evil Genius 2 where we're doing something a little bit different today. We're starting with a, uh, a time lapse uh, because I wanted to do some base changes after the, um, the bit of a <laughs> bit of a bloodbath that we had at the end of the last episode. So while our minions get working, I'm cleaning all of that up. Uh, we're going to make some changes because I think we're having a bit of a bottleneck at the front of the, uh, the sort of base there, the, just where the cover operation ends, and I think it's causing some of our uh, uh, agents of justice to get a little bit uh, stuck and, and kicking off. So we're going to try something a little bit different um, with this one by moving some stuff around and then redesign the casino to work even better as our cover operation. Uh, if you are new here, we play Evil Genius pretty much every day right now and uh, I'm a big, big fan of it, uh, trying all these uh, sort of in-depth sort of techniques and really seeing if we can make the most of the systems that the game has so make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any more first of all um uh, we found out that uh, the queue to uh, pick up body bags is limited by how many of the incinerators you have you can only have one in the queue at the time so we've uh, spread all that area out we're moving the guard desk a little bit away from the entrance hopefully it's not too far back and then we're building a slightly larger infirmary uh, at the front here because you know we're having some slight issues with uh, with with people dying so hopefully that can pick uh, help and fix there and then you'll see those in, in uh, incinerators there once there's a few of them you'll soon see these body bags all fly off and uh, and and no longer be a problem um, so here we go uh, moving on now to the casino so a few people have mentioned that with the casino you can basically make it a big windy uh, you know maze almost you can use the uh, the barriers that are in the game there's like a gold barrier and a red velvet rope barrier and you can basically make a maze out of it um, I didn't really want to do that that's probably the most sort of optimal method but you know this still kind of has to look good in my opinion it still kind of has to look like it would kind of work in real life I guess well real life I know this game's ridiculous but you know what I mean like it kind of it has to have that aesthetic uh, which I really want to get which is something we sort of thrive on here at Geekism is trying to get the aesthetic good as well so here what I'm trying to do is a mix of the two um, so we've got a uh, combination of a bit of a mazy thing but also still looks good so you'll see here that although this is quite a big sort of sprawling space there's actually only one way through all of it now you come in into like a welcome desk area um, the corridor there leads you up to the back rack tables uh, through a little roulette uh, space into the sort of large sort of uh, performance area there with the stage uh, and then a larger roulette space there with five tables uh, lots of plants and stuff as round as we go um, also there's a space there that we're going to do in, in the real time section in a moment where we build a, another barracks that's just for the valet staff or, or, or focused towards the valet staff another back rack area and then the uh, the final room that we already had there uh, which is sort of like a bar slash roulette and I'm trying to put it so that all of the tables are in the way basically you have to walk right by these tables if you are an agent and uh, and there you go so hopefully these agents now are going to have to sort of work their way spend a lot longer doing it and work past a lot of the different sort of distractions before they even get to the base i'm putting in some doors although we may well drop the doors if it becomes an issue uh, all we can do is a bit of trial and error at this point so we're going to dive in real time now and see if this works Perfect timing, we've got a set of Patriots investigators, they're poor, so I'm interested to see now how, how well staffed are our tables. Yeah, okay, good, nobody on the drinks table there, this room's empty currently, a couple of folks here. I think if these all stay pretty staffed, I feel like this guy shouldn't even get to the door up here but let's see they've come they've come straight past the welcome desk area i think we need to do a redine here because they just keep all walking in this one and coming across <laughs> so here we go let's have a look run out of gold i'm sure we have okay okay so he's now playing the game that's good i've turned all these on to i've turned all the scam tourist things off for these as well by the way so as, uh, we can really focus on dropping their resolve and skill The next room. Okay, one of his friends is there. Nice. Valet's managed to stop him. Good stuff. And he's playing again. That's what we like. Nine of five. Yeah, another another uh, socialite's got him. Two skill. Yeah, he's already gone because his resolve is zero. Uh, are you leaving too? Or no, you're still checking out the place. Okay, so one of you's leaving. 
Three of you are still checking out the place, but none of you have got past here yet. So let's see. Let's see what we can do. See how well our valets are staffed. Again, a little further this time. It's kind of scooching past that room. A lot of valets walking past them. Not necessarily doing much work. Okay, one of them's grabbing a drink. Two of them are grabbing a drink. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, one of them spoken to, spoken to as well. And again, and another drink. This is what we need. It just needs to be an absolute barrage, this place. Okay, are these better than poor? No, they're still poor. Okay, I think the one we clicked, we might have just got a bit lucky then, perhaps. Okay, yeah, good. Another one there leaving. Okay, so there's two left. I'm going to get him for another drink. Now he's going to stop. So, so far, he's as far as they've got. I think one and maybe one more. No, nope, there we go. Zero resolve. And you're leaving as well. Excellent. So, we were pretty well staffed there. It looks like they've sort of shrunken down a little bit. But they didn't even get to the final room then before we managed to turn them around. So, I think that was probably... Uh, a decent thing to do. It's pretty good. We've got cash coming in. That's good. Without all of this turned on to scam tourists. So nice to know we can actually manage without this doing that. And then over here, like I said, the change we made. If we move the guard table over to here, also the guard table is probably a little bit more suitable to be near this door uh, because this is where the sort of more gun heavy folks are going to be coming in from later on. Uh, research is there and everything else looks okay. I think we have the power to manage that now. That was turned off for power reasons. Um, okay. So next thing I want to do then is over in this space, I want to build a, a sort of little mini barracks um, that just sits off here that's going to be focused towards looking after our valet minions. So, um, because now if we look into barracks, we have, uh, sorry, not barracks, if we look into mess hall, we now have specific mess hall tables, I believe, uh, are suitable for certain minions. There we go, look. Smarts and vitality preferred by deception minions. Nice. Um, so we've got the regular one the muscle one and the deception one so we can do that certainly uh, the other thing is um, apparently if you set door um, uh, if you set door pressure to be difficult they're gonna focus towards that one so we're actually gonna set this one to be the difficult door and hope they sort of therefore want to come up this way and we'll actually set this door to be pretty light to get into because um, I don't actually think anything in the barracks is is bad for them to see. Um, the only thing that I'm un, a little unsure about is the television. So we'll we'll see as to whether or not the uh, the TV causes a problem. I know we don't have much gold at the minute. We're going to be working on that later as well. So we'll put a that kind of door on it. I think. Okay. Or do we put a regular door on it? I don't know. Not too sure about these front-facing doors yet, actually. Let's cancel that. I think maybe we'll go for a regular one, and, and we'll and we'll see. There we go. Doors cannot be locked. Don't expect them to stop any invaders. But like I say I don't actually want to stop any invaders. I don't think this room is actually going to be causing any problems. It is just going to be a little barracks for our staff, uh, for our valet focused staff there we go well that's going to bother me forever and a day so let's move all of these over there we go. I feel like this although you can't actually set the room to be just valet um, I feel like just the placement of it is going to mean valets are going to prioritize it and then also like I say we can come into room type click mess hall and we can put in the deception minion uh, food desk there. Put two of those in. And then the other thing I really want to try and squeeze in here is staff room. Because the staff room TV um, requires uh, brings in morale. And morale is uh, one of the things that um, social minions lose. Oh, we can't do it there. Oops, did not mean to do that. So we put it there, and then make barracks there. Nope. What am I trying to do? Barracks there, there we go. And then mess hall, just for neatness, is going to come to there. There we go. But now we should be able to come back into this room type. Whoops. Oh, 
and be able to put one of these down. Okay. I wonder if actually we could have done it there. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? I actually kind of like a bit of a wall in there, actually. Hmm. Is that something? <laughs> Is that a thing? Maybe. Oh, you wouldn't want to sleep there, though, would you? That's the problem. Hmm. Can we design this to make it make a bit more sense? Because at the minute it really doesn't, does it? <laughs> Let's do that along there. Because I kind of like the idea of there being a wall for the beds. That's that's fine. So let's do that. Now let's go to um, staff room and do that. Ah. Hmm, but that was okay. That was okay. That was okay, because it wasn't that superfluous anyway, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, so one, two, three. Uh, oh, what's wrong with that there? Why can't we do that? Oh, is, have we got the right room? Yeah, staff room. Oops. Staff room. Oh, hmm, that's interesting. Goes one way but not the other. Sure. Okay. Uh, well, we'll put you there then. And then as decor, we can just have like another little seating area here. Um, let's put those next to each other. Or maybe one away from each other. There we go. Maybe we can have a seating area here. Nice little plant. A lamp. Uh, sure. And for now, that should do. Um, the only thing we haven't really got in here is any lockers. And we do want locker space. So I'm going to show you another cool tip from old Uncle Johnty as soon as that's built. All right. That's all built and is looking good. I'm now interested to see. Uh, we've got another group in. Let's have a look at these. These are average quality, but there's only three of them. Which is good. So we're going to see how far average quality folks get. And also whether they're uh, drawn to this room. And if so, are uh, you know, non-plus by it or not. So they're about halfway again. Let's have a look at their figures. Uh, yeah, see these have got pretty high numbers you see. Getting kind of, kind of wiped out a lot slower. They've completely bypassed this room because there's nobody singing. Uh, this room has got a few different drawers. Let's see. Nice. I think, uh, as they do seem to have really sort of strong pathing AI, I reckon we could probably get away with setting a couple of these to scam tourists over on this side, because I don't think they're going to get that way. So here we go. They've, come, they've decided to come up to this door here. Um, they're going to come in. Let's see what they think. Okay, they're ushered out, but otherwise, they didn't. nothing seemed to particularly fuss them. Now, where are they being taken to? Because they're actually being taken deeper into the place, which isn't great. I would rather have, rather than taken closer to the front door, honestly. But that's okay, okay. They're being taken there. Now he's, yeah, see, if anything, that's kind of helped him out. <laughs> but he should lose his last bit of resolve there. Okay. And you're leaving. And you're leaving. Okay. Um, is that not enough there? Oh, is it skill they lose at the table? But she, he should resolve and leave. Okay, nice. Yeah, I think this is... Uh, I don't want to say really great, but because, you know, I'm sure there's going to be problems. But this seems to be running pretty nicely. Okay, cool, cool. And this area here is has got a few of everyone in there. That's the, kind of the only thing, the downside to this, is because you can't actually set it specifically like this is just for valets. Um, you do get the occasional worker who just comes rocking down here for a little stuff. There's always scientists sat in these chairs. The scientists like to sit around in chairs and technicians and stuff. Uh, okay, cool. How's that money doing? Not awful. Let's get the stone gun researched. 
because we've got that on our other playthrough and it's pretty sweet. Uh, but what I was saying before, yeah, we've got a hundred people in our lair and uh, we could do with a lot more. We could quite easily manage like 200 people right now and be pretty comfortable. So we're going to look at increasing the number and the way we do that is through either uh, research here which we've, we've capped out at the minute. We can't do this one just yet. So we've got that one already done. Um, or uh, by building lockers. Now, you can end up with huge swathes of these things, and I reckon we could probably comfortably put one more row in here without it causing much issue. So why on earth can't that go there, but it can go there? I do not understand that. Oh. Because that person was doing something, I think. No? What on earth is there? Oh, hello. Listening device. This was left behind by an agent. Someone who's listening on you, but who? Ah. First I've seen of that. Wow. I did not see anyone come in. That's a totally new thing for me. Is that the only room they've put them in? Hmm. Curious. I do know we are due sort of uh, our sort of first round of super agents but yeah okay there's no reason why we can't have another row of these these do three each so that's going to give us six to our it's going to give us another 24 people but yeah you can end up with just big swathes of these things and it's it's not great really so here's another thing you can do which is pretty cool um let's find a bit of pretty uh, rubbish corridor let's go up a level yeah let's go up a level so here so Instead of building corridor, like obviously some places you have to have corridor, like where you need stairs or whatever, but corridors are just rooms, really, and there's no reason why you can't build your corridor um, actually out of barracks. And then you can actually line the corridor with some of uh, these, and I'm going to put little gaps in them just to uh, so we can have a little bit of flavor with like water coolers and stuff. Oh, yeah, there's no reason why um, why we can't do this and fill something like that with a with a sp with the space of barracks. Let's do two more, and this will work perfectly as a corridor. Uh, obviously, the only downside really is that you can't use it for uh, corridor items such as the guard posts and uh, fire extinguishers and what have you. But, you know, as long as you're not going to put them everywhere. Look, there's another one of these things here. Who is dropping them all around the place, eh? I do not know. Um, oh, look. That one's going to go. Yeah, somebody's been up here. Somebody has been up here. Are they still here? Hmm. Curious. Anyway, we'll let that build in. That's going to give us a whole load of minions to uh, to come and tackle whoever it is who's doing this. I've been working on the world stage for a little while now to get enough tourists in my lair. There's missions like this, look. Uh, no, not like this. Well, they look like that. <laughs> but they are to uh, yeah to increase the number of tourists in your lair. And I've clicked enough of them to get... Uh, it was 50. Now, I don't know whether they actually sort of form... Yeah, it looks like they do. They're all here hanging out. I'm not 100% sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we've done it anyway. Um, the next thing we need to do is work on civil unrest, um, which are these ones here, but they looks like they need to be in level 2 zones. Oh no, heat's a little high there. How much is this heat going to give us? Oh no. I wanted to do a big money earner, but... The problem is that the one thing I've noticed, and I don't know whether this has been a, a purposeful change or if I just didn't notice it before, because there, there has been a couple of little hot patches um, or hot fixes. If you click launch, look, I will confirm it. All the other things go away. <laughs> so you, to lose your heat, you can almost do like a hard reset on the zone, which is a little bit annoying because you find like a really good one that you want to do. Like that. <laughs> but luckily that one's back now. So that was basically the same one again. That gives us 60,000 for just the just some guards. And look at this one over here. Th oh, 30,000. There was one that was like 120,000 or something insane. But it's kind of finding where it was now. And also we can start collecting diamonds, which are fuel for our... Um, for this thing. But I don't 
particularly know why I want to bother it just now. But yeah, this place is banging luck. I feel like we should turn everything to scam tourists and make some money. But I won't. I won't. Just in case. It looks like the last set of uh, folks we had have cleared off. So that was doing pretty well. Uh, everyone's a bit peckish over here. In fact, it does look like now our numbers have gone up. I mean, we've almost doubled capacity and not increased any sort of, uh, you know, sort of staffing space here. So I do wonder if... Is it time to reevaluate where our training room is, perhaps? Training can move up to here, and we could open that lower deck for um, for a larger mess hall. And that's a great idea, Johnty, if I do say so myself. What are the new items? Oh, yeah, that thing. Uh, trophy cabinet? Oh, look at that. I don't, remember when he, I don't remember where we got that from, but cool. Maybe that was a... Maybe that we got that from uh, socialites, perhaps. Uh, oh, look at this. Proves workers smarts above 50. Uh, offers a range of courses, including backstabbing, candy stealing, and jumpsuit maintenance. Ah, oh, nice. We need to build a better archive then. Um, and, we, and we have, yes, and that thing as well, which doesn't really work too well, but we'll go over that later, maybe. Uh, okay, so uh, what did I say we were doing? Oh, yes, training. Let's build a decent size training spot here. Uh, I mean, there you go. That's the that's the training space from now on. So we'll click confirm on that, and when that's built, we can. Uh, we'll put a door in there actually as well, just to keep it a little safe. There we go. Okay, power wise, looks like we're doing okay. Yeah, we've got thirty left on the power. And then what we'll do is we'll move all of those up, and then we'll probably do, hmm, what do we think is a good idea here? Maybe guard room could come. Let's have a think. What can we do with our space here? Because I would like to keep the mess hall and barracks still in the same room. We can move barracks over a little. Barracks can come right down to here. Give ourselves a bigger mess hall space here. Which means we don't have to do anything here, <laughs> but we're doing it. Um, scheme, has scheme has succeeded. Nice. What was that? Was that just a bit of cash? Was it? It doesn't look like it was. Oh well. To be fair, we probably, we are spending quite a lot of money, aren't we? Uh, doing stuff. Uh, that's lower tourists. We don't want to worry about that, do we? We're happy for tourists to come in. What's this one? 30,000 for some workers and some guards. So about that, because if this fellow comes in, he's coming to the island, and I'd rather not have to worry about him. We have a level two one over here. Anything good here? A what? Oh, an hour and 10 minutes. 305,000 for six scientists. Boom. Go for it. Raise that heat. <laughs> so how much heat did it say it was? Did it tell us now? Heat remaining 80. So actually, that'll near enough finish, although it does creep up anyway. But we'll get a good chunk of that money before anything bad happens. And that'll, uh, that should tide us over for a little while. This one here is going to pop if we're not careful. Can't afford to do anything about it, though. Yeah, yeah that one's going to pop out. Never mind. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on that, though. And then we've got to start looking at le moving all of these up to level 2 because we can't do our uh, spread unrest without them being level 2. There we go. So six scientists have gone in there. And they're going to very slowly, over the next hour, earn us $300,000. I've got I've got my pinky up to my uh, uh, to my mouth, just like Dr. Evil. Uh, yeah, okay. I think we'll do this then. Spread out barracks this way. I mean, that seems the obvious spot, doesn't it? Um, and then we'll take... How many of these can we move? Let's have a look. One. Oh, we have to move all of them. Okay, well, it's going to be a big task, but needs must. All right, we're going to swing these around. Can we do what we want with them? Yeah. There. You that way. And you that way. Go. 
And that's that done. Okay, cool. Not much extra space, but it means we've got like triple the amount of those that we did have. And they were about to like blow up the way they were looking. So I'm glad we've done that. Um, means everyone can should be now able to get the food they need, uh, which is good. I'm not too sure. Yeah, so hungry, hungry. And what's this one? Are you smarts? Yeah, smarts seems low. And that's going to be the archives. And we don't have a decent archive. So I'm thinking maybe then, even though, so now we've done that and didn't really need to. Uh, we can move this stuff and then this can become an archives which kind of makes sense being near the control room so we're going to take all of this up to a new location um there we go i think did somebody said the arrow keys do hmm somebody said maybe oh page up yeah there we go page up and page down nice um then we can we can really just uh oops it's not ideal because we have to move across the map, <laughs> but it's better than nothing. It's kind of our fault for doing it this way. Uh, okay. We're not 100% sure how many training items. I suppose it's going to be one for each minion type, isn't it? Eventually. So there'll be 12 altogether. But for now, I'm not really thinking much about placement of these. Uh, they're just going up. So, last one there, which I think is technician. And at the minute, I'm not really noticing a problem with having just one of each of these. Uh, oh, hello. They need repairing. They're not going to get repaired. They're going to get destroyed. Huh. I wonder if I missed them from before or if whoever did it has been back. I think I might just miss them from before. Apologies if you saw them and didn't and were shouting at your screens at me because that happens quite a lot. In these kind of videos. Uh, these are mostly staffed by valet. That's good. They're, I mean staff. They're mostly sat by valets. So that's good. That's what we want. Um, so yeah. It seems people are struggling to level up their smarts. Yes. We definitely need to do something about that. So this room is going to become an archive. Same size. Just now it's an archive. And we can have a few re-education chairs in. But also... We can have one of these awesome, we're going to get two of these awesome TV screens. How cool are these? You just love one of these at home. Oh, shush. There we go. And decor. I mean, we always have to do a little seating area, don't we? Because we just love them. We just love them so much. Oh, this one. Oh, the archives doesn't have a wall seat. That's interesting. Uh, okay. Well, in that case, we can still totally do something nice. Just gonna look like that. Uh, where ah, the neat, the little bit of door has to become archives as well. There we go. We now have a good archives because I don't think we did. In fact, we might not have even had any archives. Oh, there's our <laughs> there's the archives that we had before. <laughs> well, I'll leave that there. It looks good. But yes, now we have a proper archives. Actually, people can come and use and not feel horrific look at them all they're all slump about bloop, 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 bloop. Um, we can have a look at research we now have enough for that one that's that's genius stats yeah the only one we can do now is genius stats and 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 killing weapons which I'm not really fussed about oh and capacitors that we've never used either yeah well genius stats it is then cool little bit of a funny thing this because we're limited on this until we get the next tier of science minions and i've seen a few people now say that you know they're maxed out they're waiting to do research yes yes we get it you're all thick i understand don't worry it's been fixed <laughs> okay i'm gonna put a door in this side so i've just realized that anyone over here which is most people are having to come all the way down here and back up again uh, and actually, it'd be quite useful for them to get in here a bit quicker. And also, if there's any problems coming down this corridor, like there is occasionally, uh, running back in here as well might be quite useful. Uh, still seems like food is on a lot of people's minds, which suggests that this is full. I, I'm assuming that's what those symbols mean, because there was loads of uh, brains until I built this place, and there they've all gone, and there's no, there's nobody hanging around anymore. So I think that was the, the problem there. So... I, th I think these are a bit of a rough idea to say, okay, we're looking for beds, we're looking for a bit of food. So, yeah, but I mean, beds is a, is a fair point because, I mean, we've got 
this here, but not much else. So how about we come into barracks and maybe do something like that? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that means we can do basically a, a whole other run of beds there and move these few. Whoops. Moving these few. Not let, me, not let me do it while there's somebody in it. I mean, that makes perfect sense. You wouldn't want to be interrupted, would you? There we go. And then we can get another this many in as well, which is nice. Cool. Yeah, I'll confirm that. And then it opens up another little space here that we could use as uh, I don't know, a little scene area or something. Cool. All right, there you go. So, unfortunately, we didn't get any of the missions done today, <laughs> apart from getting tourists in our lair, because I really wanted to get this casino up and running, and I, and I really feel like we've got that to a better space now. Um, and a few other sort of hints and tips. I, I think this game is really important. It is very much a softly, softly catchy monkey kind of game. This You've got to make sure that every time you push forward, you are ready for the repercussions. Those repercussions, ladies and gents, are going to be in the next episode when we invite Agent X to our island. Until then, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until the next one, be good.